Hey guys, what is up? It's Vans here, and today I'm gonna be doing my first ever FIFA 19 video. And basically, what this video is gonna be about is me kind of reviewing what is pro clubs and what has changed since the start. And basically, kind of because we're like three minutes for three months out of launch, so kind of I want to just talk about what they've changed and what I like about pro clubs and also sometimes what I don't like about pro clubs and this is going to be specifically for goalkeeping I don't really play any positions I might be making a striker one soon but this video is dedicated for um, goalkeeping or if you're a goalkeeper in the game like I am as you can see display gameplay in the background and basically one of the things I think you should always start off by doing is when you're not making saves or diving <coughs> you should always hold L1 or it's not the uh, bumper it's the um little joy it's not like it's l1 okay it's not l2 it's l1 the smaller one next to the big bumper basically what you want to do is you hold that because it will always be moving the player into position so that you'll always be in position when you need to be when you need to save a shot so it will basically it will help you out a lot because you won't have to make those far reach saves so the closer you are to the ball or not the ball, the closer, you, the better your angle is, the less your player, less your um, goalkeeper will have to dive, so it makes it a lot easier to make some of the saves. Second tip is that when you are diving, don't be afraid to come out a little bit, because if you come out, that lessens the angle for them to score. If you just sit in your line and they take a shot, it makes it a lot harder to save for you, because your player obviously can't just reach the top right corner. And number three, is this is actually complain about I hate headers because they are almost impossible to save I think there will be a header coming up where it's just I can't save that I dive I completely I dive the correct way I just could not save it it was impossible because I just I was there but my players couldn't dive far enough I let I picked the right corner I dove so another thing about a game is Sometimes being a goalkeeper, it's all about guessing, and I don't like that. Because sometimes it's just like, you kind of like have to like, guess where they're going to shoot it, because if you don't dive that exact right way, sometimes you kind of have to like pre-dive, because if you don't, then there's no way you're going to get to it. And that's kind of annoying, because it just makes it a lot tougher on the goalkeepers. Like, here's the header. I can't say that. That's impossible. I dove, I, I dove the correct way. I couldn't save it. I don't know how the game wanted me to say that, but that's another complaint that I have. Now, something I feel that has also changed about the game, but not in a very good way, is that um, is that the game feels more rigid, honestly, because in the earlier launches, being a goalkeeper felt more smooth, like you had the freedom to move around and diving just felt a lot more smoother. But now it has honestly become very tough to uh, move around because it feels like your player's kind of stuck to your line instead of being able to, you know, move around and try to, you know, listen to angles and come out the box and maybe parry some balls away. You're kind of forced on your line, which I do not like about that because I feel like the game just feels a lot more rigid and it's a lot harder to make some saves because if you're Peace.